Uh, hello, everyone. Hello, Lee. Welcome to Perfect Seller. And um, today we are talking about this little thing, which is the perfect, my perfect three, uh, the perfect tasting kit. Uh, I'll just very briefly introduce you, I suppose. Uh, maybe you should do it yourself. But Lee Isaacs, wine educator, wine communicator, and voodoo child sometimes but uh... yeah so voodoo child an occasional pirate although you know I'm much less occasionally than it used to be in my in my <laughs> youth yeah i i talk i teach i waffle uh, i play the guitar pretty badly um yeah i, I wine i, I can contest to that right. sorry no i'm just <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I i i my my air guitar is really good um but my my real guitar is is less good but yeah, um, yeah. yeah, thank you, thank you for having me. It's um, it's lovely to be talking to you again and, and finding a good reason to do so, and obviously tasting these fabulous wines with you. Yes, exactly. So yeah, uh, just very briefly about the project, and I actually have to say a huge thanks to you because, to be honest, it was in a quite convoluted way how the guys who actually do the packaging for us. Uh, get to know me or I get to know them uh, and uh, I actually uh, talked to them about this and immediately what came into my mind was Perfect Seller uh, because the reason is I, uh, I know Perfect Seller always wanted to do, we were always open for different things, uh, I've been working with them for a couple of years now uh, and I think uh, we we always been open for different things, and we always look try to look outside of the box, try to keep it as professional as possible, but we try to find new ways of uh, getting customers engaged and get the good wines to the good customers, to the good people, and uh, and and especially since COVID, I don't really like to use the word anymore, COVID, but I have to. Since COVID, um, a, a lot of things changed. Uh, habits of customers and, and how they shop has changed. However, uh, I think the wine industry didn't really caught up with this change as efficiently as we could. And I think this tasting kit is a perfect example of how the, the wine industry or how wine companies could actually uh, actually uh, you know elevate the game a little bit because I think uh, it's quite a clever project. You you tasted these sort of wines. You had you seen the uh, packaging. What do you think about the initial look and feel and everything? I I absolutely love this because. I've said for years, as you know, as a wine merchant or a wine educator, wine communicator, the things we do, what we're ultimately striving to do is get more customers tasting more wine. And, you know, we're used to wine coming in the 75 CL glass container. And there are wines out there that you think, you know, the consumer would probably love it. But for whatever reason, maybe it's a little bit more than they would normally spend. You know, it, it, it's a risk, especially, you know, in today's climate spending 10 pounds, 15 pounds, you know, pick a figure. Wine's a luxury purchase. So there's lots of barriers to somebody, you know, potentially tasting new wine that they might adore. And you think, you know, how often, how many bottles of wine are made that get opened just for somebody to sort of have this much out of it? And, and maybe that's in a room with 15 people, or maybe, you know, if, you, if you're wholesaling it, you're on the road and you pour it to yeah. several customers. And you think that that sort of just doesn't make any sense. So when, you know, when I first saw this and it lands on the doorstep and you go, here's a way of getting great quality wine in this little container. And, you you yeah. know, you get a really good sample full. You get to try it. There's, it, it in terms of that risk, you know, that, that risk is minimized because you're not buying a full bottle of wine you might not enjoy. Yeah. You know, th this is a medium for getting really good wine to people that want to try it. Is uh, it genuinely? I think it's one of the most revel uh, revelationary, uh, revolutionary things to happen in wine. In in the you know I've worked in wine for over twenty years. This is one of the most groundbreaking things I've ever seen. Genuinely, and I've I've written about that 
on, on my blog and I've done video, you know, I, I've, I've talked about these patches from, from when I first saw them. I, I, genuinely, absolutely game changing. And the other thing I, I, I loved about it is not just as a medium to get great wines to people. I never really got the concept of unboxing, which yeah. I believe had become a thing. You know, and you see videos of people getting an iPhone or whatever it is. Um, the very first time I got one of these, I totally got it because it's yeah. <laughs> wine is wine's an experience that isn't just the thing that you get out of the glass. Wine's an experience of getting, being tactile with the bottle, removing the capsule and the cork yeah. or the screw cap, interacting with the label, taking a look at it, especially in the modern age, putting it down so you can take a picture for social media. Yeah. Um, this gives you the full experience of a bottle of wine without the bottle of without yeah. you, you, know, you get to taste the wine but there's still a tactility to it yeah. and when you open that package you know it's it, it becomes an adventure in itself you know the, the the packaging is beautifully designed and feels great and it's easy to access and get into and it goes through your letterbox which is great so you're not having to have it dropped yeah. off and pick it up somewhere and all that but you open it up and there's you know you can get a look some tasting notes and things in there so it replicates the experience of a bottle of wine but in, in this instance you know you're getting to try three wines that you might not necessarily go and buy for that. Maybe it's a region you don't know, yeah. or maybe the price is a bit high. You can get to try them as a consumer. And that just gives you so much more. You say, actually, I really like wine number one. Next time I go into Perfect Cellar, I'm going to go and talk about that wine from that region and see what else I can learn. And I'll buy a bottle because there's no risk. Yeah. I, I, this just, this really changes the game for, for getting wine into people's glasses and oh. into their I, I think um, what is a it's, a it's an interesting way maybe uh, at least it, that's how I see it. It the, the case itself or, or 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 this tasting kit, this tasting box actually, what it really does is reduces the risk of spending a fair amount of money on something you potentially wouldn't like on the first place. Yeah. However, yeah. at the same time, when you think about it. Um, so a full price for this at the moment when we're recording this is twenty five ninety five. Also, if you uh, obviously we in Perfect Seller we have a, a couple of other options, so you can go uh, in a in a classic membership, which is completely free right away. All you have to do is give your email address, uh, and then you get the, the then you get the pack for twenty two pounds uh, essentially, and then if you sign up for a, we call it seller master membership, uh, which will be a few pounds per month. Uh, but at the moment, people should really sign up because it's free. And in that case, you get the pack for 20 pounds, 76 pence. And you have essentially 300 mil samples in there, which is 300 mil, which is just less than half a bottle itself. Um, three different wines and all between the 20 to 30 pound mark, which is, I think it's quite a, a, a nice little deal itself. However, once you open up the, the case itself, you obviously get a couple of little nicely designed leaflets and one of them, I can't remember which one, but one of them definitely gives you 25% discount on the three wines. So what it means, not just you have to taste the wines, you've been, uh, you, you've been given a discount as well. And on top of everything else, uh, we have a, I like to call him an in-house master sommelier, uh, one of only a few hundred people in the whole world uh, who reached this sort of level of knowledge and the title. Uh, Christopher Delon, who is um, doing a virtual tasting with myself as well, and the and the team at Perfect Seller, um, with with the case. But if you can't make the virtual testing, uh, it the recording all goes on YouTube, and you can taste the wines, essentially with Chris, uh, even if it's just virtual. Uh, but I think uh, I think generally it's a very cool way of uh, of, of promoting products and getting people to to taste things. Uh, now, in terms of the packaging, obviously, it's fully recyclable uh, and every, every part of it is recyclable. Um, but one thing which I, 
obviously didn't really like in the beginning, uh, you have to get used to it, is actually it, it takes away, I think, one thing from the whole experience, opening the bottle. Yeah. Because you don't need a you know, bottle opener. What you all, need all, is... my, all my corkscrews, I, 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 yeah. hundreds of them. I've no need for them anymore. I need a pair of scissors. <laughs> and, 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 but this is, you know, the tactility of it. I've, I've opened mine a, ahead of time. Yeah. You know, you push this in, and you're, so you're, again, you're interacting with the you're interacting with the product. Ultimately, yeah. mine is about experience and interaction. And then this little bag in here, I, I still remember very vividly the first, the, my very first experience with one of these packages. Yeah, I just absolutely blew my mind. And it's, you know, what what we're trying to do. You know, we, wine's the easiest thing in the world, right? It's liquid on lips. Yeah, people yeah. just take it. They decide if they like it. If they like it. They go down that path to buy a few bottles, start exploring that region or that variety. If they don't like it, they find the next thing. So what you have to do is increase accessibility and decrease risk, and that's exactly what yeah. this does. Yeah. Without that's what this product is all about. And then the fact that, you know, if you wanted to go to a to a live tasting with someone of of um, of a sommelier, you know, master sommelier stature. It's going to be very difficult to get tickets. They sell out quite quickly. They're going to be quite pricey. You know, people with that level of knowledge and prestige command a premium as well. They should. The fact that, you know, you get your three wines in here, sit down in the comfort of your own home or cellar, log on, and, and you, you still have an immersive experience. It, it's just it's absolutely game changing. For getting and, and I think uh, the, the quite the, uh, there's a bit of fun involved, obviously, when tasting the wine. Uh, I think, I don't know if you can see it, uh, but it's, I think it's, you have it in front of you as well. I think it's a fairly generous glass as well. So 100 mil is yeah, a nice well, glass. Not poured, I've not even poured the full thing yeah. yet. Um, you know, and I've still got a good old portion of wine there. So I've probably yeah. got nearly as much again. You know, 100 mil, if, if you go to a, a live tasting, you don't really get 100 mil in your, yeah. in your live tasting. You know, yeah. so you're getting not just a chance to try the wine, you're getting a chance to really live and experience the wine, which is tasting yeah. it. You know, you, you can't really form a judgment off on taste. You need to have a little bit of time drinking it and, and yeah. enjoying it. And again, that's what this allows you to do, which elevates this experience beyond the standard wine tasting, where you get a little bit and you sort of go through it quite quickly. This gives you the chance to taste it, maybe leave it for a moment, maybe try it with a little bit of food. You know, you've, you've got plenty in here to play around with. You're not yep. tasting it and then going, oh, I wish I had a bit more so I could be sure. Yeah. Fabulous. Yeah. And there's one more thing which we, uh, which is in the pipeline. Actually, it's very close to completion now. We're developing uh, an Alexa app for this whole project. So oh, wow. the idea is that if you don't want to look at my face, don't want to listen to uh, Christopher's uh, terrible strong French accent. Um, I'm only joking, obviously. He's, he's a lovely guy. Uh, but if, if, if you don't want to sort of interact with us on that level, uh, but you prefer an AI, um, you can do that as well very soon. So uh, it's going to be, uh, it, it's, it's almost done. Uh, it's very close to completion. And okay. as soon as it's done, we obviously can launch it and talk about it even, even more. But I think we're giving people a lot of, what we try to do is we give people a lot of a choice mm -hmm. within our possibilities to actually not just to have the wine itself, but to interact with us as well mm -hmm. and learn about the product as well. And then once you did that, and if you like the product, you know what you're buying. It's a safe thing. Yeah. You get your 25% discount. Uh, and here we go. Uh, you having a lovely bottle of wine in your and hands. It, it, so. it, it's it's fabulous because it's it's accessibility. It's uh, obviously it's decreasing risk, but it's still it's still interactive. And the fact that you know you've got these these um, you know this information contained, and then on the reverse of that, there's a little bit of information. There's some sort of key details and a QR code. So a QR code which takes you straight there. So the whole idea is to create um, the easiest possible way to 
for customers to reorder the wine, obviously, because yes, that's the ultimate goal to to get uh, people to drink these wines. And hopefully, uh, the idea is that every month we're going to create a new case, something exciting. We we put together different different options. In this one, is we call it Tour de France. Uh, I'm not sure it's very original, but it is. In, in many ways, it's it's it's. Uh, uh, they didn't ask my opinion on this, but anyway, uh, well, maybe I've called all, many cases all, to the front before. But... There's, there's all sorts of names out there, and eventually realize somebody's used it somewhere. To the yes, front. exactly. That, but that, yeah, I mean, here here we have a Sancer, which you and I are drinking at the moment as well. Um, and then we have a Saint Joseph from the Rhone, and we have a Saint Emilion. Bordeaux, uh, which is probably the highlight of the tasting because it's a Grand Cru, uh, Grand Cru wine. But anyway, I think all of the wines are quite, uh, you know, premium. And what I wanted to ask your opinion as well, because obviously you are a wine educator, uh, more qualified than I am to talk about these sort of things. But what is, what is your opinion? On, in terms of the the, the, the the quality, because obviously you don't have the full bottle in front of you, but when you open this uh, little pack, uh, that was one of my worries before mm -hmm. I ever tasted one of these. But I tasted quite a few of them now, and not just these ones, but other other uh, other wines as well, uh, packaged by the same company uh, with the same packaging, um, and what I feel about my, my feeling about this is actually the quality doesn't changes. I mean, I think the quality control is fantastic there. So it's so, you know, as you sort of um, alluded to at the start, you know, I, I know the guys who created this, this packaging and, and this yeah. technique um, and I've known them since before they were doing this, they were doing something very different. And so I sort of followed them from the start and, and knowing them as I do, you know, their, their commitment, their, their biggest driver is if we're going to create this, we need to ensure that the wine goes into there and stays in there as good as it is in the yeah. bottle. Otherwise, there's no point because it's letting the consumers down, but also it's letting the producers down. Yeah. So, you know, their biggest, I know everybody in the world says, oh, we're quality focused. Um, we should just take it as is. But, you know, they really are the, the amount of checks and work they go through to ensure that it that, you know, the wine stays fresh and in quality. Yeah. I, 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 I'll relate it to you know, canned wine is something that's taking off now. Um, despite having been around for a long time, the last few years have seen it grow. Yeah. And, and when, you know, when you taste the really good stuff that's available, one of the things you find yourself saying is you wouldn't know it was from a can. Imply, because we imply through that, that the best way to serve wine is from a glass bottle. Yeah. And and it, it, it's true of these, the, you know, I've had, I've tried, you know, I've worked, worked with them, doing, I've done some tastings with them and so on and so forth. You know, you taste these wines and at no point are you tasting it going, this doesn't feel... Yeah. There's something a bit off. You know, if yeah. you're just, if, if you asked for a glass of, you know, you and I have the Sancerre here and this was brought to you and you didn't see what it was packaged in, there's absolutely, you're not going to go, oh, I think that came out of a little bag in a, which, you know, there'd be a, little, a, bit, a bit of leeway, right? You'd sort of go, well, the wine's been taken out of the bottle and put in this little hermetically sealed bag in a box. Yeah. So maybe there'll be a little bit of degradation. It isn't that. Yeah. The fact that, you know, as, as I've said, you know, these are great because these allow, wines to be put into the hands and palates of people who might not experience yeah. those wines for a variety of reasons it's not just that you can put any wines in these obviously you can't do sparkling at the moment because of the yeah. way it is but you know you, you could put wines at hundreds of pounds in here yeah and there's no decay the the, the, the technology behind making this work is incredibly sophisticated and and it, it, you know incredible stuff far beyond anything i understand but ultimately you taste this wine and, it, and it's as fresh as if it's just been poured out of the bottle yeah. So, all right, I mean, you don't have experience of taking the cork out, but, you know, I mean, that, it feels like you've just poured it out of the bottle. Exactly. Everything what a sunset should taste, a, a good quality sunset should taste, is there. I mean, in, you, you, on, you have, on the nose, on the palate, literally everything. You, you have this blind. You could, you know, <laughs> I know what it is, so it's easy to say I'd get it as sunset, but, you know, the, the everything is where it should be with that wine it's not been affected by the fact that it's gone into into this packaging yeah. so 
you know, you're not suffering any loss of quality or, or anything like that. You're yeah. getting a real reflection of what the ultimately, you know, when you taste a glass of wine, you want to know you're tasting what the winemaker intended. Yeah. And that's what this is doing. That's exactly what this is doing. The, you know, the wine, I, I doubt very much the winemaker's going to come on and go, oh, no, this isn't right. It's perfect. It, it smells like Sancerre. It tastes like Sancerre. It's as, as fresh as if the bottle had just been opened. Yeah. Um, you know, so you, you, you're getting the full experience of the wine. It's just coming this revolutionary little package. Yeah. But the opportunities that that gives you, and you can take, you know, these are these are these are cracking wines that are showing very very well. I mean, that's and it's bright and it's vibrant and it's fresh. There's bags and bags of character to it. Um, it's like a walk in a like a walk in a summer meadow, and there's there's yeah. that fruit <laughs> all around you, and it's there's a fresh grassiness to it. It's just, and actually, it's like it's like standing on the hill of sunset, looking at the river, because you've got that that just that fresh, slightly mineral thing. I can, can, can I can I use your words in the tasting note in the future? No, by, by all means, you can have them for free. Um, have them for free. I'm sure other people could expand on them and do do much better. But it's just that's absolutely fabulous. And you mentioned uh, another thing as well, actually. Um, when you, when you mentioned that you can put a uh, hundred pound worth of wine into one of these little packs, uh, it's actually I don't know if you actually secretly work for a uh, perfect seller as well, but because uh, we actually have ideas about this as well. Obviously, number one stage is to introduce the product, introduce it to the customers and get them familiar with this whole experience. Mm -hmm. uh, but, and, and to be fair, it's already quite premium category where we are now. So the cheapest product, if you buy them at the cheapest price in the uh, seller master plan is 19 pounds 16 you you don't spend that on a bottle of wine on a daily basis or or, or on a thursday night um, and the most expensive wine in this one is currently the saint joseph which is 30 pounds 95 at full price so everything is around the 20 to 30 pound mark so it's quite expensive but mm -hmm. once uh, we get this um initial stage done uh, and, and and people get to know the products and and trust the quality and and hopefully trust our experience with wine and you know uh, everything else then what we're planning to do is we are planning to do different levels different categories and one of them is obviously going to be fine wine because uh, perfect seller generally uh, tends to go for uh, premium old world wines. That's mm -hmm. sort of still the focus of the business, although we have quite a few other things as well. But uh, it's in the pipeline as well. So I'm I'm not sure why I haven't seen you on uh, on team meetings before, but you should be there <laughs> because that's that's where we are heading with this one at some point as well. I'll I'll sign up for it. I'll tell you, <laughs> as a, you know, as, as someone who's a, who's a wine lover the gift I most enjoy receiving is, is wine. And it's funny. So my, my family go, I, I wouldn't buy you wine because you're always surrounded by it. And they go, yeah, I'm surrounded by it because I love it. I well, look, look at right next to you, mate. Yeah, I, mean, look <laughs> there, right? I, I do this job because I love this stuff. So actually, you know, if it's occasionally a family member, might go, oh, I don't know what to get you for your birthday. So I drink wine, I just wine. <laughs> yeah, as a wine lover, if I, I receive one of these, firstly, I've got that enjoyment of it coming through and opening up and, and, What's inside here? That's an adventure. You know, you, if, if you're getting one of these and it's got super premium wines in, I mean, there's a lot of wines people won't believe this, Shabba, but you and I can't can't necessarily afford the world's greatest wines, right? Because we work with it. Um, you get one of these and it's got three really premium wines in. Yeah. You're getting 100 mil of each. That's a fabulous gift for a wine lover. And whether they're super premium or, you know, 20 to 30 quid a bottle, whatever, that's a fabulous gift for a wine lover. That, that I you, genuinely enjoy sort of taking my time going through it, opening it and writing notes and all that. That's just fabulous, wonderful stuff. See, see, you you definitely work for Perfect Seller in, in some sort of capacity. I just don't know about it yet, but because <laughs> <laughs> you just mentioned a couple of things. Uh, again, I don't know, and I didn't even send you a, a script or something, so that's, that's actually brilliant. So in terms of the gifting uh, side of things, it's one of them is obviously... Uh, obviously designed a little bit like that uh, and you obviously when you go on the website you can you, you can add 
uh, gift notes and, and, and whatnot to this. So uh, the whole thing is the design with the, with a the little bow on the top and, and everything else is, is designed as a gift as well. And uh, I think we're trying to take advantage of that before Christmas. I'm pretty sure we will. Um, and uh, the, the, the other thing, uh, I, I can't even remember what was the other thing, but I think it, it was something to do, um, uh, something to do with uh, making notes uh, because uh, what we do is we put quite a bit of effort into, obviously we are an e-commerce uh, wine merchant. We import wines, but the, the, the whole idea behind it is we are an e-commerce we like to think of forward thinking wine merchant. And I think with that, with that in mind, I think it's, it's quite uh, important to know that uh, we have a uh, virtual seller developed as well. So whoever joins in with the seller master plan, and this is my sales pitch here, you get access, free access to a virtual seller, which is quite cool actually. So you, what you can do is you can put wines into a into your virtual seller in three different categories. One of them is the everyday wine. Uh, the other one is um, a special occasion wine. And the third one is fine wine, because this is how we categorize the three, the three tiers or the three levels of wine, what we try to sell to people. Um, so whatever you like, you put into your virtual seller. You don't actually have to buy them immediately, but you can uh, almost create a virtual wish list for yourself. Mm -hmm. And then once you have these ones, you can always just go in there and click on them and say, I want three of them, uh, or I want two of them, or how many you want to do. Once you have them, uh, once you bought them, you can actually make tasting notes in your virtual seller about your wine so you can remember everything. So uh, I don't know uh, how to phrase this, but I think it's it's a little bit of a wine geeks, wine lover sort of, not heaven, but a virtual yeah. heaven. Because actually what you can do is just like write up your tasting notes and then collect wines. You don't have to pay for them, but it's actually quite, it's actually quite handy because when you realize, okay, I actually need this, you click on them very quickly you can look back on your previous purchases and everything uh, and then you order them up and it's delivered to your door next door next day okay. it's it's so we've talked about accessibility it's also it's inclusion right so yeah. you're a, you're a casual wine drinker you, you're not the sort who's going to you know be a nerd like me and, and pontificate on notes no it, what, what kind of lime is that is that fresh lime or is it is it like lime zest you know, you, you know, one of these, just get through the wines and enjoy them and use that as part of the learning process. Or the fact that, you know, if, if you want to make notes and keep those notes and have something to refer back to, you know, it, it took me a long time sort of working out how to do that in wines. Go, where can I keep all the, all the stuff I taste and write down and having, how can I keep that in one place and actually have easy, easy access for it so I can go, I need some more of that in the cellar. Bang. You know, these yeah. these opportunities exist now in a way that they've never existed before. So, it's not just usually utilizing technology and new packaging to, to get wine to customers. It's how as we as wine merchants can help help people collate all the information, all their thoughts, all their tasting notes, centralize it and get it somewhere that they can access it and then use it yeah. for the future purchases. Um, and, it, and it all starts with that. This is yeah. this little cardboard box that goes through that, but genuinely this blows my mind <laughs> stuff. It's great, it's great wine in a tiny little package that you, you, you don't expect. Um, and we're frightened of things that are new as, as human beings. So we say, oh, oh, I don't know about that. I'm not seeing that before. This is just I've brilliant. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. love it. And I don't know about the wine, what, what you think, but I think I, I love it too. In fact, uh, I wish I would have a, another not, another box immediately in front mm. of me. Mm. But um, that, um, funnily enough, I don't drink huge amounts of Sancerre. Same, not same here. I, not because I dislike it, it's just other things I drink. And I was hosting, as we record this, I was hosting an event last night where I opened a, a Sancerre as part of that, and it, and it showed, you know, reasonably well. It, it was uh, it was okay, but this is sort of next level on top of that. It, this is this has got all the things you want in a really good bottle of wine, whether it's Sancerre or something mm -hmm. else. It's got purity, it's got precision, it, it's got focus, uh, it's got character. 
And that's for three is the magic number. I've done four. Never mind. It's got four things. It's got lots more. <laughs> this, is, this is good. If you've never had Sancerre before, yeah. this is actually a really good one. To try. Okay, that's what Sancerre is about. Yeah. If you have had Sancerre before and you know you like it, it's delivering all of those things that you're looking yeah. for. Um, and and to, to say it again, it's a phrase I don't like, but you wouldn't know it had come out of a little yeah. metal exactly. seal pipe in a, in a little cardboard box. Is Yeah, exactly. Mind blowing. Mind oh, with yeah. It. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, the sky's the limit for for us and for our customers, our consumers. Yeah, massive, massive. Yeah, yeah hopefully. But anyway, um, Lee, I really appreciate your time. I really appreciate you coming on here, uh, and and I really appreciate your kind words about the product. Uh, I, I I believe they are actually genuine words because I know you really well now. And uh, we we worked together in in on different projects before, uh, and uh, yeah, I think I think hopefully people will uh, will get the gist, and people definitely understand the the quality. Let me just um, very briefly tell you uh, if I manage to put this up on YouTube in time, uh, it's actually on the fourteenth of June at seven p.m. Uh, Chris Delalone, Master Sommelier, myself, and a couple of probably a couple of other guys from the team, uh, we're doing the virtual tasting. Uh, we already had one, but we decided to do a second virtual tasting just uh, because I think this is the first box and it's definitely worth the effort to to get into it. If somebody cannot do it, we already have the first uh, tasting recorded on our YouTube channel as well so have a look at that and as i say it's if you order it in the morning it usually comes uh next day if not the day after uh it's free delivery and you know i think you get a, a ton of value for for money uh with this one but um anyway I hope yeah. you enjoy the wines and, and, and keep drinking the rest of them because there's two two more which we didn't cover. Two more, I'm, two I'm more rates, but, uh... Great fun exploring those. Just and just say yeah, thank you for um for asking me to share my thoughts and, and sending me the back. I you know I really appreciate it. Um I I, I totally think this is just game changer brilliant. It's a great way of getting very, very good wines in great condition to as yeah. many people as possible. And uh, yeah, I, as you know me, I'm honest, if I if I didn't think much to it, I'd tell you, I do just think this is it's, it's wonderful because it's just getting more wine to more people, which is what I've been trying to do for you know my, <laughs> my limited way for, for twenty plus years. But um, yeah. a huge cheers to you, Shabba Thank you, and a huge cheers to uh, to everyone at Perfect Seller. This is a great yeah. project. Love it. Thank cheers. you, Lee. Cheers. <laughs>